A rare sight in the skies today. The sun actually shining again after a few cloudy days. And Kate, it's been a pretty comfortable October afternoon. Yeah, it's nice and warm outside. And Jessica, when I saw the sun, I was like, wait, what is that? Yes. I haven't seen that, that in a while. Fire. Oh my gosh, the sun is back. But can it stay for the weekend? Uh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like the weekend is going to be kind of the cloudiest and most unsettled part of the seven day forecast, sadly enough. Today looks good, tomorrow looking good, and then a bit of a weekend spoiler in the form of a coastal low, which will bring clouds and the chance for some rain. Tonight, 75, uh, right now, I should say, 75 degrees. Feels amazing outside. Great night to sit outside, whether it's at one of our local restaurants or even just in your backyard. Put some burgers on the grill. 75 degrees with a dew point of 59. Not bad at all. Light breeze from the west southwest. So the east wind has shut down briefly, but it's coming back for the weekend. Tonight, winds are calm. It's still mild because we don't have these low dew points. Oftentimes in the fall, we get dew points in the 40s. That allows temperatures to drop down into the 40s and low 50s on October nights. But with the dew points near 60, you're not going to drop below the 60s at night. So it's not all that cold tomorrow morning. We can keep the coats on standby for now. I just, this is not based on any science, but I just feel like it's going to go from warm to quite cold very quickly. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Storm scan three looking relatively quiet right now. We've got a few scattered clouds outside, but this is going to be our potential weekend spoiler. It's kind of a convoluted pattern. You can see there's an upper low. See that swirl of clouds there over Illinois. There's a blocking high off the coast. So this system is just going to slowly ride up the eastern seaboard into the weekend. With the counterclockwise circulation around that low, all this moisture, and of course the winds are going to start to come in off the ocean yet again. So we get stuck in another east wind pattern like what we had early in the work week. Tonight's low, 61 degrees, mainly cloudy with areas of fog tomorrow. Well, we've got fog in the morning. It's not widespread dense fog, just some patchy fog, a little gloomy early, then some sun, much like today, nice and warm, the high 78. But Sunday, 55% chance of rain. Saturday is about 17%. A few shower chances next week, but Sunday looks like our best chance for rain. Not a great forecast, sadly, for the Broad Street run. Future weather showing what this looks like tomorrow. Some fog in the morning, and then you can see some breaks in the cloud cover in the afternoon. But the clouds thicken on Saturday. Saturday morning, showers will be moving in off the ocean all day. There's a brisk east wind as well, especially down the shore. Then by Sunday morning, we start to see this rain lift in with the coastal low. This is about 6, 7 a.m. 8.30, you can see some rounds of showers moving through. Now, it looks like the heaviest is going to be south and east of the city, but we are going to see shower chances in the city on Sunday as well. And there's that east wind really picking up as we get into Sunday. So for the Broad Street run, cloudy and cool with rounds of showers and a chilly east wind. If the showers stay a little bit further east, it might not be too bad because it will at least be cool. You won't be sweating. It's not too sticky and humid, but it does look like a good chance of rain on and off throughout the day Sunday. Then next week, warm again. We're up near 80 right through Thursday. Jessica, back over to you. All right, Kate, thank you.